All right, uh, let's look at the uh, inverse matrix method. All right, so uh, let's say we're working on the system of linear equation uh, in this uh, general form there, uh, n by n. All right, so I'm going to just uh, write this into uh, matrix form. So uh, I'm going to just uh, uh, pick out uh, all the um, uh, coefficient coefficients here. So make up a coefficient matrix. So A11, A21, all the way to, uh, actually, I, may, I missed it up, A12, and all the way to A1N. And you have A21, A22, and so on, A2N. So all the way to AN1, AN2, and all the way to a n n so that's the uh, coefficient matrix then we have a variable matrix so we have x1 x2 and so on to x n and the right hand side matrix which is um, r1 r2 and so on r n all right, then uh, to make a, a note, uh, notation simpler, I'm going to use uh, A for the coefficient matrix. So we can write the A and uh, capital X for the uh, variable matrix. And the right hand side, I'm going to use, say, R, capital R. All right, so the goal is to find uh, capital X, all right? But what we can do is uh, we can apply uh, inverse matrix A inverse to both sides. So if you apply A inverse uh, from the left, right? So you have uh, A X is equal to A inverse times R matrix, and uh, you can see that uh, here uh, A inverse times A, since these are inverses of each other you get the identity matrix, uh, which gives us, so identity matrix times X is going to be simply X, right? Then this is gonna be equal to uh, A inverse R, right? So if you want to find uh, 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 variable matrix, all you have to do is uh, multiply the right-hand side matrix by the inverse of the coefficient matrix from the left. All right, then uh, I want to talk about the connection between this method and um, uh, Kramer's rule. And uh, these are actually uh, uh, equivalent method, and the Kramer's rule is just uh, done in uh, a component, by, component by component. All right, so let's uh, go back and look at the uh, Kramer's rule. All right, Kramer's rule is if you want to find the, say, ith variable, all you have to do is replace the uh, ith uh, column uh, by the right hand side, um, uh, right hand side, and then divide by the uh, determinant of the coefficient matrix. So that was the Kramer's rule, right? If you write it in summation form, so th this is what it looks like. So this is going to be equal to, right? So it's going to be um, uh, one over. Uh, determinant of a so that's there right then this part so we are looking for the determinant of this matrix with the uh, ith column replaced by the right hand side so I'm gonna try to um, uh, expand this along the ith column right so this is going to be simply a summation all right, so maybe I'll say k goes from 1 to n, all right? So this is going to be, uh, uh, let's see, I, R, K, so that's those guys, and the corresponding um, uh, cofactors. So it's going to be C, all right, so this is going to be the ith column, so it's going to be K, uh, I, all right? So this is uh, this is the same thing as the uh, Kramer's rule x i. All right, let's look at the um, x uh, the inverse matrix method and look at it uh, component wise. 
So uh, here, this is the uh, inverse matrix method right here. Then we're going to look at the, uh, say, xi from there, right? So xi, uh, this is going to be equal to uh, a inverse. We just learned that, that it's a 1 over um, determinant of a. Then you have a cofactor matrix transpose. So that's same as the a inverse. Then you're multiplying by a right-hand side matrix, right? So let's look at the... Um, uh, this one. So you have uh, uh, xi from there, right? So it looks like a 1 over a um, determinant of a uh, should be there, right? So we took, took care of that, right? So you have, uh, so you know to get the ith element, we're going to, uh, we're going to look at the ith row of the um, cofactor matrix uh, transpose. So I throw of uh, C transpose is actually the ith column of uh, original C. So we have, so it's going to be a summation. K goes from 1 to N. So we have to look at the ith column. So it's going to be C, uh, I, and K. Then right hand right matrix, so R, K. Right. So if you look at uh, this guy right here, compared to uh, the Kramer's rule, right, you can see that the, these are actually exactly the same thing, right? So Kramer's rule is just a component component wide version a version of uh, uh, inverse matrix method. So they're essentially the same method. All right, so uh, let's look at the uh, quick example. So example is going to be, say, if you want to solve uh, a system of linear equation. All right, so you have uh, x minus y plus 4 uh, equals 4. And the 2x... Uh, plus y minus z is equal to negative 1, right? And 3x plus, oops, plus 2y um, plus 2z is equal to, say, 5, right? So uh, let's uh, solve this um, using inverse matrix method, right? First, uh, we're going to uh, uh, construct a coefficient matrix. So it's a 1, negative 1, 1, 2, 1, negative 1, and 3, 2, 2. All right, then you have a variable matrix, in this case, x, y, z. And this is equal to the right hand side 4, oops, uh, 4, uh, negative 1, 5. Right? So if you want to find the uh, um, x, y, z, so you have a variable matrix, we just need to find the inverse matrix. Uh, so inverse matrix of 1, negative 1, 1, 2, 1, negative 1. 3, 2, 2, right? Then inverse. Then you multiply by the uh, right-hand side, right? So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use the uh, GeoGebra to compute the inverse matrix and uh, compute the multiplication as well. So here, I'm going to go up here. All right. So let's try to compute. So I'm going to type in the coefficient matrix. All right, so I'm going to just type in coefficient matrix in curly brackets, uh, first row, second row, and third row. It's 1, negative 1, 1, and 2, 1, negative 1, and 3, 
two, two. All right, I'm gonna call this guy matrix A. Hopefully this would work and hit enter. All right, so we have a, ma uh, a coefficient matrix there. All right, then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, uh, R matrix. So it's going to be, all right, so oh, actually, so this is gonna be a column matrix. It's a right-hand side matrix four, negative one, and five. Right, then hit enter. Right, then what we want to find is uh, this. Uh, we want to find a inverse. All right, so let's see, maybe uh, in uh, inverse uh, matrix. Oops. Uh, hold on a sec. All right, uh, let's see, invert. So matrix is A, and then multiply by uh, uh, right-hand side matrix R. All right, let's uh, hit enter. All right, so we got the uh, uh, one, negative one, uh, two, All right? Uh, which means that, um, this is going to be x is going to be 1 and y is going to be negative 1 and 2. All right. So therefore, uh, x comma y comma z is equal to 1 comma negative 1 comma 2. All right. So this is the um, solution there. All right. So uh, inverse matrix method is uh, kind of uh, 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 Kramer's rule, and it's just that uh, it's done in, in one shot. So Kramer's rule is a component by component. Uh, inverse matrix method uh, does it in one shot. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.